hi and welcome to another episode of Riemann Studio Tricks. Today I'm gonna show you how I use the model synth with this mixer called Model 1.4 from Play Differently. This mixer is made for DJs as well as live acts and everything in between, like hybrid sets. And it is designed by Andy Rigby Jones and Richie Horton. It has got an amazing sound and really cool features. Let me explain you signal flow real quick. So you come in with normal phono cables. Um, I've got another video where I explain how I connected the model sound with the mixer. Check out the link at the top of the video. Um, then you have got this trim knob which you can drive a little bit as well. And you got this drive section. So you can distort everything from soft to really heavy. Which is really cool because um, if you got limited space in a model synth, you don't need so many saturations or compressors or anything. You can do this um, here with a high quality sound. And this mixer doesn't have a normal 3 or 4 band EQ. It has those low pass and high pass filters. And in between a parametric EQ. So with this section you kind of, as it says here, sculpt the sound. In my case I've got a beat here and I just gave it a bit more 7k. I've got the synth here and I applied a high pass filter at around here and gave it a bit more mid frequencies and I've got a bass line here which I gave a bit of low pass because we don't need the high frequencies and if I change something here this will be a bit too much so I'll leave it like this and the cool thing is you can apply filter on the master, which I did, so if you um, want to make a break in a live set, you just apply a high pass filter and bring in the kick again. And there is another cool thing about the filter on the master, it has got a resonance knob. And if the high pass filter is on flat, in reality it is at around 30, 40 hertz. I don't know exactly, but it sounds like that. And if you apply um, resonance, it highlights that frequency bit. So this way you can shape the kick drum in a live set in a really nice way. Um, yeah, this is obviously too much, but just so that you can hear it clearly focus on the kick drum. Yeah, like this you can give the kick drum a really sub-heavy bottom end. That's without. That's with. But I would recommend don't go over half because if you give it a high pass filter, um, yeah, this would sound too harsh for my taste. And there are AUX sends as well and returns for external um, FX boxes like stomp boxes, um, a reverb for instance or delay. I don't use those today because we've got limited space but this is a really nice feature for playing live obviously as well. And in the return you got a drive so you have control over many things and saturations. Um, that's really cool. Okay, to the model synth on channel 4, 
I got the beat, which is submixed on this Roland uh, mixer. It consists of this Eric Carson kick drum, the 909 ride from Tip Top Audio, this snare from Basilimus Territas, and this tom from MFB. Well, it's actually a snare, but um, in this case it kind of sounds like a tom. And this I had from Tip Top Audio as well. The synth comes from the braids in combination with this cinnamon filter and this reverb. And the bass line comes from the rings, which is sequenced by the Metropolis. And the synth is sequenced by the Arturia Keystep Pro, by the way, with CV and gate. How I perform this live is I tend to give it a high pass filter when I want to create a break with a peak moment. Increased intensity of the sound with the cutoff from the filter. Right. Come to climax. And turn up the sound even more. And low pass filter the beat. Secretly. And when I want to get back to the kick drum at the end of the break, I close the filter from the sound. go back to flat. And then give back the heights to the beat after a couple of bars. That's just one of many examples how I perform this really nice combination. I would use the sends and returns a lot as well, but I'll show you that in another video. Okay, I hope you learned something today. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channels. We release videos on a weekly basis.